Welcome back, guys. We're now at the one-year mark of our glass coatings and sealants longevity test. Let's see how things have fared over the last year of record heat and a decent amount of rain. We've had several last month that were well on their way to failure. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell icon to get notifications when new videos are up. If the bell icon's not working, you do have to unsubscribe and resubscribe as it was a past issue that we had with the channel accidentally getting marked safe for kids. So the weather's finally cooling off here in Texas about a month later than usual. So as usual, we'll go ahead and foam everything down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and rinse to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that everything is seen, is on your screen here. So without further ado, let's jump into it, see how things are holding up. Jumping right into it, NGNT, which we've now found is called Diamond Protec. Still hanging in there, albeit not the strongest in the world. Again, this, <laughs> this windscreen has taken a beating. Nano Cotex on its way. G Technic G1, G2, not doing too well either. Nano Cotex Hydroglass, not either. And Glass Parency will be our first failure. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, we're gonna call that failed. There's several others that we could probably very close to call calling failed. Glossed is another one. So Glossed and Glass Parency calling failed. Shatter X and System X, very close as well. Looks like overall, a lot of these products expect about a year out of them. That's kind of what we're seeing here. But Glass Parency and Glosset, we'll call those failed onto the other windscreen. Armor All, looks like it does break the surface tension, but it's not not nearly as hydrophobic as it once was. Liquid glass guard doing all right. Aquapel, still hydrophobic. Nexet Pearl Nano. Those are doing a little bit better. Meguiar's is definitely on its way out. Gion Repel, still hanging in there a little bit. But yeah, Meguiar's, not quite failed, but very close. Again, not not knocking in these products for not living up to a year. They're very cheap. They're very easy to apply, save for a few. Aquapel being one of them that it lasts, but it's, it's definitely a pain to apply. I would say if you get six months plus out of these, you've got a winner. So any of these really, except for a few that lasted 30 days or so, right there they're gonna be good options so if you guys have used any of these let me know but i think this is probably going to be one of the last updates if not nearly one of the last updates so stay tuned for more and thanks for watching we'll see you soon